Hey everyone, I'm Darian. And I'm Alexander, also known as Allo. As we celebrate Clash Fest 2022 here on our home turf in Helsinki, Finland, no event would be complete without this never before seen look at Supercell headquarters and interviews with the game teams who make the games that are played by millions of people around the world. That's right. This exclusive tour is the first time we've invited the public into Wood City. And in our two-part video series, we'll be granting you with special access into what life looks like here in Supercell Helsinki. So grab your salamiakki and let's get this started. Supercell headquarters, also known as Wood City, is the largest wood building in Finland. Mainly made of locally and sustainably sourced spruce, Wood City contains more wood than any other building in the entirety of Finland. In fact, most of the building is actually made of wood, with the exception of like the concrete foundation and the decorative units here. Believe it or not, more than 75% of Finland is covered in forest. And this bountiful amount of nature was the inspiration for the design of Wood City, with its organic flowing lines and columns of trees. Although the architecture of Wood City was designed to promote relaxation, creativity and inspiration with its open workspaces, plenty amounts of natural light and the breathtaking views of the surrounding city and harbor, tons of technology went into the design of this building. Within Wood City alone, there are over 450 kilometers worth of networking cable snaking its way through Wood City. And that's just one example of how much design, technology, and forethought went into developing our brand new headquarters. So why don't we start with a tour and take you to one of the most important places in Wood City. Welcome to Pekka Cafe! At Supercell, we take coffee seriously. In fact, we take it so seriously that we consume exactly 678 cups of coffee per day. Exactly. All this caffeinated consumption keeps us alert and engaged, but it also needs a dedicated space to enjoy such roasted delights. Pekka Cafe provides the perfect place to have a cup of coffee or tea or even smoothies, to have meetings with colleagues or just chat about your day. Delicious pastries, tasty delights, provide the ultimate backdrop as really cool musical playlists just keep the vibe chilling. Pekka Cafe is surrounded by meeting rooms, where we bring visiting partners, business associates and other important people when we need a bit of working privacy. Each meeting room is filled with video conferencing technology so that we can chat with those who are working remotely and of course with our beloved colleagues who work in Supercell's international offices in San Francisco, Seoul and Shanghai. Hey everybody! Hey! Hey! But you guys, you want to see the cool stuff, right? Should we show them? Yeah! This is the Clash Royale meeting room. Rule of your meeting like the red or blue king. Ever think about living out your fantasies of nerfing or buffing your favorite card? Well, in this room, you can. But don't let the in-game facade fool you. This room is jam-packed with technology, whether it's video conferencing technology that tracks the person speaking, induction pads to charge your mobile devices, and incredibly fast high-speed Wi-Fi for everybody in attendance. In fact, we have meeting rooms themed after each of our live games, whether it's Clash of Clans, Heyday, Boom Beach, and finally Brawl Stars. Oh, hey, Alu. Speaking of game teams, do you think we can get some time with the Clash Royale dev team and just have a chat with them? You know what? I'm pretty sure we can. All right, let's go. Let's do it. After you. Thank you. Hey, welcome to the Clash Royale game team. So one thing you'll notice throughout Supercell is our open workspaces. That's a key element of our culture. See, at Supercell, we have minimal hierarchy. 
That means that every single Supercellian is given from day one the trust and independence to do what they do best. To help facilitate that, no one, not even the CEO, has their private office. But everyone works at an open workspace that's designed for their team's needs. Now having said that, let's go say hi to Clash Royale. And what would you say are the most important like attributes or things that make a good game producer? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's uh, uh, the ability to, you know, be meticulous, uh, or very organized, and also to kind of be able to uh, facilitate uh, discussions, and be able to uh, understand people and relate to people, and you know, create good relationships with the team. So when you make decisions as a team, what is like? How do you decide? Yeah, I think obviously when we design and plan what we're doing next. We do this for the players. When we start doing things, then obviously everyone has their own roles. Everyone has their own responsibility. And uh, then as a team, we decide on what we should do, what makes sense. You probably had some kind of assumptions or expectations about what working at Supercell could be like. What were those? Expectations I had, which were absolutely kind of met was that everyone's incredibly good at what they do, um, that everyone's very passionate about the games that we make, um, and the expectation that I had that didn't turn out to be so true was that everything would be completely kind of nicely organized and everyone would be completely confident that they knew what they were doing. <laughs> Because yeah, it's it's a very kind of uh, a very chaotic, very freeform, and very sort of independent place to work. What would you say makes a, a designer, a game designer, a great game designer? Curiosity is probably the most important thing. Just thinking, I wonder, what if this, and then having the sort of uh, the determination to sort of follow that thread and see where it goes, because. For me, like the thing that makes this type of games we make sustainable for the very long term is surprising people. It's making sure that our players don't always know what's coming next and that when an update lands, something isn't just exciting because they've been waiting for it, it's exciting because they never imagined it. As a game designer working in Clash Royale or with Clash Royale, what makes you most excited? Oh man. I mean, I feel incredibly lucky to be working on this game because it's it's got you know years of uh, of strong history behind it, but it has one of the most easily playable core gameplay of anything I've ever worked on. It's it's incredibly fun to just pick up and play, uh, and yeah, the the hope that. I can help kind of bring that to even more people and uh, use that kind of uh, <laughs> that gift that the the people on this team who came before me have kind of have given me is uh, yeah is really exciting. How would you describe uh, what makes a great team? What elevates a good team and makes it into a great one? That's a good question. I think it's all about respecting each other's differences. Like it's so important for the team to be able to talk about anything and feel safe to express, you know, any feedback, any thoughts that they have, even if they disagree. Um, and we we talk about disagree and commit a lot here. Um, so I think it's it's the sign of a great team is actually that trust that you build together by through sharing um, anything that's on your mind and not feeling like you would be judged or punished for it. And beyond that, I think working well together, um, being able to communicate well, and um, yeah, generally respect and trust. If you would describe the working culture at Supercell and in your team, how would you describe it? I would say uh, both at Supercell and on the team, collaborative, thoughtful, empowering. That's, that's how I would describe it, and that's been my experience. Let's say there's a new game feature 
and that means that you need to design something new. How do you how do you start? Where do you begin? Can you talk us about the process? Well, of course, we work very like um, intensely with the team, so we we collaborate a lot. So UI is also some uh, area that uh, every everybody like the coders and and also game designers also work on on comment and and kind of come up with concepts sometimes. So so it's kind of like a collaborative thing. And also when we play test, then we also might get some uh, feedback and some do some adjustments and and, and 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 those kind of things. But where I start is basically discussing the feature, what we're going to make, and then coming up with some kind of like a first uh, draft design of how the feature would work and what's the loop and 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 what player must understand and and then on top of that, we also try to think like visually what how how does it how do we want it to look like. And um, from that, we then work on the assets. Maybe we need some uh, some art and, and and characters or things like that. Or and then after that, we polish it and add animations and things like that. So it's kind of like a um, a process that kind of evolves. When do you know that you've made something successful? That your decisions were were correct? When can you be proud of your? When work? I hear like. Um, Good feedback from the players. That's always the best. Like if there's like a um, players tell that this was great, and, and like of course that's the best. Then you know that you you've done something right. That's a, that's the main goal. What if you get angry feedback? Then we go back and try to fix it and make it better. Okay. Hey, Aldo. Yeah. You all done here? We still have a lot of things to show everybody. Okay, man. Just about done. All right. Let's go. So that wraps up part one of our exclusive tour of Wood City here in Helsinki, Finland. We hope you've enjoyed everything you've seen so far, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the Clash Fest festivities yet to come. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in part two of this video tour, where we're going to sit down with the Clash of Clans team and show you the rest of Wood City. See you later. See you later. <laughs>